Why are we living only at the mercy of our governments and world institutions' definition of peace, and not our own? What about peace through compassion? What about day-to-day -day human expressions of peace? Not peace through process, or politics, or religion, or guns, or bombs, or propaganda, or government, but through the natural, equal, human, one another. Can we find it in ourselves to breed compassion for humanity that there's no boundaries? I came here to remind you that you can simply give peace a chance if you breed compassion. We all have the potential to communicate with empathy and seek peace entirely on our own as a civilization, freely, without the permission of anyone. You need not a Bill of Rights or a law to permit kindness. Are we brave enough as a civilization to strive for a better understanding of our enemies? So we can work in a more compassionate way towards peace, world peace. Can compassion and communication be neighbors, just like we will be forever? No one human is in charge of the earth. We have to stick together. We're all responsible for every earth mess and every earth success. But to the naysayers, I want to ask you, if, is it impossible to dream? Impossible to imagine. Are some people just too radical, too criminal, too enemy, too different? Or are some human circumstances just <clears throat> too extreme, it's not worth communicating at all? When we stop communicating, it is only replaced with war. War on each other, war on the environment, and actually, war on peace itself. It is my experience as a public figure, through social media intelligence, my involvement in youth mobilization technology, and the research I've done with the Borna Way Foundation, that world culture at this moment is not naturally inclined toward compassion. For example, full equality in my country is still not given to all Americans. And I know we are not alone. So in my young activism, I will continue to communicate compassionately to the world and its leaders towards a peaceful resolution where my activism is relevant. So I just wanted to leave you with today. I just urge everyone in this room to use your voice compassionately. I'm not asking you to spread the word. I'm asking you to be a rebel and to take action, to do it. I dare you to be brave enough to be compassionate in a cynical age, to be a true rebel of your time. Right now, the war on peace is growing, but we can begin its end. I believe compassion is the answer.